All right, welcome to the Robert Show. I'm here at uh, Google Next, and look who I have with me, Michael, uh, who's the VP of Data uh, at Bud. Uh, Michael, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut, so I'm super excited to chat with you, and uh, definitely want to learn more about what's happening in the financial space, about when now AI kind of plays a very important role in every industry. But why not start with your introduction, tell us more about uh, what do you do at Bud, and how is but looking at uh, all the things happening in AI. Yeah, of course, thank you. Uh, and thank you for having me. I've seen uh, uh, your recent episodes with uh, uh, Chet Kapoor and, and Andy Gutmans, and uh, 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 it's really interesting to listen to. Great to be on the show. Thank you. Um, yeah, so at Bud, we uh, we generally work with sort of fintechs, financial services companies, banks, um, to understand their customers. Great. Um, uh, we do that using transactional data, and we build that into a really explainable way mm -hmm. of being able to uh, understand customers. We're doing that with AI. Um, and realistically, understanding your customers is so key to right. all of those different business processes, right? Whether that's personalization or MarTech or um, uh, affordability and like and doing credit assessments. Uh, so we've been helping, uh, helping our clients uh, in that space. That's fantastic. Also, uh, quickly, since we are here at uh, DataStacks booth, I want to know about how does Bud partner with AstroDB? What does it look like? Uh, would love to learn a little about that. Yeah, of course. I, I think as um, if you're if you're a tech company, you have to be focused on solving concrete customer problems, right? Right. And you, it's not just about creating your own tech. It's also about like knowing what should I be focused on and what mm. should uh, I be ultimately working with a partner on. Exactly. Uh, right? Like we're not going to go and build our own data center. We should be focused on financial like insights. Right. Um, so we work with DataStacks uh, for uh, DataStacks Astra, their uh, sort of managed Cassandra solution. Um, because frankly, I don't want my team spending time managing databases, like focusing on the resilience of that and so on and so forth. I want them focused on how can we get as much information as we can out of that transactional data to understand customers better and deliver better experiences to our, our clients and, and their, ultimately their consumers. Um, so yeah, so we, we've worked with DataStacks for a while now uh, uh, on that. and. Ultimately, it's it, not only has that helped us focus more, but like we've been able to reduce our costs. We've been able to have, uh, we've improved our resiliency, and like all of these other Very benefits, important. which yeah. like all of the things you want, right, in an enterprise application. It's the efficiency and the scaling as well that matters a lot when you are in this space. And at the same time, that kind of brings me to another interesting question because you guys, like, Bud has been at the forefront of AI game. You guys started pretty early, and. You know, how are you now embracing generative AI and more broadly, how do you see the explosion of generative AI transforming the industry? Do you have any thoughts around that? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, so we've been training our own models for, for, for years, right? Um, uh, we're, we're a tech company, we're a data company, we're an AI company, and we, uh, and we always have been. Um, and now the rest of, you know, industry and not just financial services, but any industry is suddenly like, okay, AI, it's, it's this thing, it's here. Um, and I think what we're seeing is companies moving from, hey, I'm just going to go and store all this data to I need to be using this data to actually move the needle on my business objectives and actually making a difference to my PNL that I can notice and not just basically paying companies to store it, right? right. Uh, so it's been really exciting. I think last year was a year of um, uh, experimentation, and now we're sort of starting to see, the, see those real use cases coming through. True. Um, in financial services, that's about internal efficiencies, uh, as well as like understanding your customers better and being able to deliver more personalized experiences, and ultimately helping consumers manage their money better. I love it, and also in terms of you know, obviously, uh, I'm pretty sure in the last three days you've been speaking to so many customers, so many leaders, and so many interesting uh, people at Google Next. What are you most excited about uh, about the announcements, but also what are your key takeaways uh, that you might have learned from the leaders here? Yeah, I, I think uh, to that point around last year being a year of experimentation and now right. we're sort of seeing that become concrete solutions, right? We're seeing uh, both the solutions from Google, right. uh, but also the, the the problems that people are trying to solve are becoming more concrete. They have better ROI attached there, better business cases behind right. them. There's more prioritization there that's clearer and I think um, that's that's super clear to me. There's some exciting stuff as well coming from Google that uh, I'm looking forward to trying out when we get back uh, when I get back home in terms of 
uh, some stuff in terms of their new processing hardware, but um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what that's like when uh, when we actually run the run the tests on it. It's going to be interesting and definitely, uh, you know, those innovations and developments are pretty interesting for the customers as well because it's a game changer when it there's more uh, efficiency brought into the production. Yep. Uh, do you also want to share a little about what's next for uh, BARD and uh, what developments and uh, what's what's in the future for BARD? Yeah, sure. I think for me it's around continuing to build up our understanding of the customer, uh, which is what Bud's always been good at, but then it's also about how do you use that understanding of the customer. Right. Um, when you're building generative applications, with that customer context, right? Uh, uh, if you think about RAG and, and, and the like, it's about how do you think about um, being able to take actions based off of that data and being able to do that in an automated way with agents and so on. Um, all of which is super exciting um, uh, in the space, and I think is you know when I've been speaking to other FSI leaders, that's that's what they're thinking about too. Like, what what are going to be the game changers in this space? Um, and uh, uh, but we've been we've been ahead of the curve of using AI for solving these concrete problem uh, uh, concrete problems for a while, and uh, we're wait, making sure we're staying ahead of that curve and uh, and that we'll be there. Love it. Uh, any other quick advice for those who are getting into this space? Like uh, talk about not only just the finance space but other industries as well. If they want to, obviously this year, like you mentioned, obviously last year was more about experimentation. Now it's more about you know getting things concrete. So any advice for the leaders out there? Anything that you would like to share? Best practices uh, for them to be on a successful side? Yeah, I, I think the key is start small, iterate quickly. You'll learn a lot. The the space is still evolving at a breakneck pace, right? Like we see, we've seen that uh, some of the things have been announced in yes. next, but over the past year as well. Um, and you, you, you'll, you'll never get it right first time, right? Like the key is like, like do something early, do something small, iterate on it, get better. Um, but then secondly, like what's the right tool for the job? Um, uh, AI will solve a lot of our problems. It won't solve every problem, yeah. um, uh, especially not right now. Um, so making sure that like you're looking at the use case and figuring out, you know, do we need AI to do this? Is there a simpler way of doing it? Um, is it generative AI? Is it predictive traditional AI and so on and so forth? And then making progress on that and sort of, uh, uh, but uh, really focus on the outcome and the, the objectives that you have and not, not getting too wound up in don't do the solution and then try and find the problem. You've got to, find the, yeah, you've got to find the problem first. First. I love it. And these are great insights, uh, Michael. Uh, one last question for our audience that I would like to ask is, I'm pretty sure they want to reach out to you, learn more about uh, what do you do, learn about your content as well. Where can they do that? Sure. Um, I mean, if you're interested in what Bud is doing, uh, then check out uh, Bud.ai. Yeah. Um, uh, but also feel free to have a look at my LinkedIn and drop me a message if there's any way I can help. Um, this is, you know, what, what our industry is going through right now is super exciting. There's so much going on. And uh, I think we're all in it together, right? Like we should all be doing what we can to help out. Um, so, yeah. Love it. Thanks, Michael, for your time. And uh, it is such a pleasure to host you on The Robert Show. I'm pretty sure it's just one of many that we'll be doing together. And uh, see you very soon. But enjoy the last day at conference. Great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.